Can you tell me where to start? It is a chilly morning. It's probably 34 or 35. But to us that we've been having such nice weather lately, it's kind of cold and I have double scarf and everything. Oh, today's day 150 for Clara if she was spread on the 20th. Now, I check her ligaments and they're still there. So I'm starting to believe that she was in fact, bread later. And which it's kind of stupid and I should have known better, but I guess that's where we are right now. So I'm keeping a close eye on her, checking her early in the morning, late at night, and in between just to make sure. Now, I did talk to the vet and the vet said that there is such thing as um, an induced labor for a goat, which sounds mm, kind of interesting and different to me because, you know, we typically trust them to do their own thing, but I guess it's something that happens. It's rare. He said one in, I don't know how many goats, but it's not one of the things that happens very, very often. So because of that, he said that um, to wait see what happens first and a few list of symptoms that should indicate that maybe she needs to be induced so for right now I'm just gonna wait because I have that written in my calendar saying that I did put her back with Rocky later on because and she stayed for a couple of days because I thought she was in heat or that she came back into heat after her initial one on the 20th. So today's 17. I think today is a full moon, maybe not. And uh, also there's a cold, cold snap coming our way this weekend. I'm telling you it's gonna be snowing a couple of miles from us. And we might get a little bit of snow too, which is completely rare, but twice in the same winter it'd be kind of crazy. So she could deliver, you know, when it's super, super cold or when I'm super, super worried about her keeping those babies warm after they're born, of course. I'm gonna keep an eye on her and see her behavior because of the things that the vet said that I should be looking out for. But I hope that I was just wrong with the dates. She goes into labor naturally and that we can put all this behind us and just enjoy some baby goats. This is my sitting spot. So, the goats like to keep on. Here in my siesta chair, made out of two pallets that I love so much. And this is my summer chair. It's just two pallets I had that fitted perfectly here. So I put one of those cushions, and you can see all the trees 
and this is the perfect spot for a nap. One of the things that I really have to get going is on the summer projects that I want to get done this summer or try to get done this summer. And one of the things I want to do is recycle as much of the materials that we already have in the property because when I come across some other materials that I already have in the property, I tend not to pick them up because I already have them. So I want to use all these granite slabs, or I don't know what you call them, that we got for free. So because of that, I'm going to show you my least favorite part of the property. I'm going to start with that. What do you think? And is the area where I have a lot of this granite. This slab. is a bomb I'm trying to use. A water pump. These are my trophies. Dead flies. I just need to get rid of and then this is oil from a truck that we're gonna use to paint the wood we have from our own woods now all this is granite and so all this rocks that you see right now here This is like a counter for sinks and I have a couple here so I'm thinking I'm gonna use them as planters meaning I'm gonna put them on the ground and in the center I have a plan for that azalea to put it in here so they're kind of contained I don't know how great of an idea that would be but I hope it works and I get another one for the other one but I don't know where I'm gonna put it so that's just the thought. I have all the stumps that in the beginning I thought to myself, what am I going to do with this ginormous stump? Can you see it? But then I figure I can stain the tops and I can use them as little tables for planters or for my next idea. That I have in my head, but I need to see if it works. Maybe try to make this one a little bit more even and use them as surfaces to put things like planters or they could even be some table for sitting out here in the evenings we'll see i also have my flower garden which i'm working on at the mo see i have i'm working on everything and anything at the same time i'm mulching my flowers that i overwintered i am putting cardboard so the weeds around them die and I'm also putting cardboard so I can stop the growth of my mint that is a little bit out of control and I'm gonna get out and dry uh, somewhat soon but in the meantime I need to make sure that it gets under control I also have a bunch of things like I had a, a water pump that was given to us and that we haven't used but we have a use for it so I put I need to put that in the shed and just random things that have been finding a room in a pile of this looks like a junk drawer but it's a big piece of the property and I want it to look like I want to show you the makeover at the end of the summer and it's all going to be with little to no money so I think it's gonna be interesting to show you that if you put the work yourself if you work at it every day you can make a big change if you can recycle materials okay so this is the little tray that is under the rabbit's house inside house that is the corner that he likes to pee so as you can see it's wet and underneath is wet so even though this could go into the rabbit manure tea and we totally do it I'm just gonna concentrate on that because I know that that corner is the one because I know that that corner is the one that he pees on the most and you can see the parts that are wet are I'm also gonna compost them or put them in there So now I need to leave this for, I don't know, three days. If you leave it for a week too long, at least where I live, it starts growing mold. So three days for me, I feel like it's a sweet spot. 
and once uh, I am ready to use it, this is gonna be super strong. So I'm gonna dilute it and use it in a watering can. Oh my gosh, it's like the never ending story. There, and there, and there, and more there, and here, and then here, and then twine that I need to get out of here. And let's keep going. I have already cleaned a lot of the debris after the storms. But there's a lot more that I need to go through and make this pen not only cleaner but also a little bit baby goat friendly so I'm gonna have to fix a couple of things in here just to keep them safe when they're ready to go out from the kitty pen. I got for today.